All right, mud lovers. Hello. Welcome to a very cold and wintry foreshore. And this is our little Christmas special that we do once a year. It is. Well, um, the sequins are a dead giveaway. This is my Christmas mudlarking outfit. Um, and so I'm feeling very Christmassy. And I hope that you're all having a great time getting ready for Christmas. And um, I hope that the River Thames is going to give us some special sparkly presents today. Mm. Don't you, Sorry. Well, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I, hope, I hope Father Thames is feeling very generous today. And we get our Christmas gifts all wrapped up in mud. So let's go and find them and let's get some luck in the muck. Yay, let's go. Let's sparkle all the way down that foreshore. <laughs> mud lugs, sight and friends, history comes alive when it's <laughs> Mysteries, there's no end. Sapphires. <laughs> but you are a mud lover. I'm a mud lover. I love all this stuff. So there she goes. You know, um, it's good that she's wearing this today because it's so, so foggy and misty today that uh, we can see her from a distance. Yeah. Ta-da! on the foreshore with Tideline Art. The foreshore is my runway. <laughs> Alright, time to get the detector out, see what we can find. Well there, look. Looks like it could be a musket ball. Oh, hold on. No. Nope. Ah. Button. Ah, see if it's got anything on it. Oh cool, something's on that. Wow, look, 96 it looks like. Let's do it quick. This, it feels like a pewter button. Oh, that's cool. Definitely says 96. That's with the 96th Regiment of something or other. Maybe the Victorian crown above it? That's a nice find. Do some research on that and find out exactly what that is. Pewter button. Broken at the back. It's all one piece though. Oh, I'm liking that. Well, it's only appropriate that my first find on this Christmas lark is a pipe. So on this old pipe here, look. As the tide is being waved in, is a name and address of the company. Does that say Hosey or Nosey Tugby and Co Limited Old Kent Road? Pretty cool. I've just spotted this uh, lump here which uh, looks like it has lots of little shells or fossils or things like either embedded in it or or are they fossils? I'm not sure. Certainly worth further investigation I think. I'm going to pop it in my bag. It's got that curly thing there. I don't know if that's a fossil or whether it's um, just something that's stuck in a lump of, sort of cement. Let's take it home and have a look. Cleaning the river Thames together. I'm not sure what that is, maybe it's some kind of a floating barge perhaps, can't quite see from over here but that's good news. Help clean up the river, clean up all those plastics that get thrown in. 
Good job. Well, we found the anchor that I spotted the other day and Simon is here with his spade and he's seriously actually going to try and get it out. Uh, well, um, as a... Partial to an anchor, aren't you? Oh, I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> and it's, it's just big enough to get in the car. So that's really cool. And also, because I'm a mudlark, full, full license means that I can actually dig. Usually you're only allowed to dig to three inches on the standard permit. As I'm a full, full mudlark, I'm allowed to go to a metre and three. Not that, hopefully it's not that deep, but uh, <laughs> just in case anyone's thinking about trying to dig up stuff on the foreshore, you need you do need a special permit if you're going to go lower than three inches. So, so how deep can you dig? Oh, a metre and three. Or a metre three, and three. three okay. Yeah, so it's probably about, about that sort of deep depth, something okay. like that. But, um, and I, I can go down three inches. 7.5 centimetres. Well, if you're a good girl, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe for next year. Okay, well off you go then. I'll come back later and see how you're progressing. It looks kind of uh, pretty right. solid. Oh, actually it is moving. Yeah. There's no uh, it's actually chain on the top. He's actually serious about this. Where are the clippers? We need the clippers to come along and clean the sludge off, don't we? Why don't they don't they run on Saturday mornings? Yeah, Good news is doing this keeps you warm. Yeah. <laughs> is it so cold today? Does it count as actually digging if you just wedge the anchor out? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look at that! Look at that! A big deep hole. Oh, that anchor's coming free. It's going to be very interesting to see this progressing, this little project. And if you get it out, um, Simon, what are you um, going to do with it? Put it in the garden. It's a nice yeah, feature. Yeah, nice feature. Nice feature in the garden, I think. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I'll donate it to a museum if they want it. Yeah. Yeah. If any museums are out there and they want it, I'll happily donate it to a museum. There's a, a project called the Big Anchor Project, which is um, really interesting. The anchor that I found down in Woolwich, uh, they were quite interested in oh, really? that. Yeah. Oh, we'll give them a shout. Yeah. Give big a a big shout. anchor project. Obviously, this the spade in there is going to have to be moved a bit. Does this count as a big anchor? Um, it's not huge, is it? It's not a huge anchor. Uh, it's like a medium anchor, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Compared to some of the other anchors around here. Oh my God! Oh, you get some really big anchors around here. If you want to see all my anchors, look at a previous video because. I've got about three in the house. That um, one of them's got a beautiful maker's mark as well. So go and check out that video. Get that a whirl. See if that will come free. Oh my gosh! Look, he succeeded almost. Got a helping hand there from Kevin. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> I think what we need to do is cut the mud right down. Yeah, because if we can. Yeah. He's going to use his trowel then. <laughs> Oh, I wonder when the last time this anchor was 
kind of anchoring something. Yeah, at least. That's well done, well done that man, he's got his anchor. Came, he saw he conquered. Now this is the anchor that featured in one of my recent videos. That's a beautiful anchor, isn't it? Look at that. Woo! <laughs> King of the anchors. Cheers Kev. Beauty. <laughs> There they are, what a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Is this one of your largest mudlarking finds then, Si? Uh, well, this one is bigger than this. What, did you take it home with you? Back on the hot craft, yeah. Take a seat, hold me down for the night You'll kick your dirt up and I see my eyes Won't lie, tell me to leave Stay by the side, it's like I'm getting over Living your life, yeah, yeah. You got that feeling See it's for feeling under the ground You see how You see how cool, sure Go and see what this Christmassy person has Good found. Timing. You up? Good timing. What have you got? Should we see if we can spot the fire? Okay. I've detected it. Okay. It was there anyway. So, uh. Right, so it's down here, is it? Yeah, I'll give you a rough circle, right? Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I think I'm looking at it actually. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm looking at something poking out and it's just there. Great. I would say that's a penny. Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm going for a... It's very tantalising, isn't it? Poking out like that. I'll say George V, 1921. What do you reckon? Um, no, I'm going to say it's a Victoria. Oh, actually, I might be able to see a V now. Saying that. I think it's a Victoria from, like, 18... How long did it? When did she finish raining? 1901. So, 1894. Um, Thank you. <laughs> it's nice though, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's... It is a penny. It is a penny, and who is it? Is it a Victoria? Yeah. Uh... My hands are really cold today, so they're not really working very well. Uh... Join the club. <laughs> nice penny. I'm just going to rub it on my jeans. Is it? I've said that it might be a Victoria 1894 and... Uh, oh look! That's a nice one. Oh isn't that lovely? You yeah. were right, Victoria is young head so it's going to be the yeah, earlier, earlier, earlier part. Earlier. What do you say 18? I said 1894 oh. so it's not going to be that. So it's probably going to be more like 1862. Yeah I'll go 1868. <laughs> Want to guess Kev? I'll go 1870. 1870. 62. <gasps> was that me I got that right or was it you? I can't remember now. <laughs> have to watch back and have a look. I can't remember who was right now, but no, it's a nice coin. Happy with that. I think I said 1862. Did you? I win the coin. Congratulations, there you go. Oh no, I'm really joking. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I'm happy with that. Nice condition, that should clean up well. It's really good actually. Oh, a lot yeah. of these Victorian pennies are really worn because they're in circulation for so long. You know, imagine mm. that was then. You know, that was 1960, uh, sorry, 1862, that would have been another 40 odd years before it was, well not obsolete, because then they would still carry on using them right up until like the 40s and stuff, so it's lucky to catch one in this condition really. Nice, yeah, very sweet. good, well done. Mm. 
Now, can you see what I'm looking at just down here? It's another pipe. And look, it's just wedged there. Here. So let's see how much there is. Actually, probably not a great deal, but it's quite pretty. Well guys, I found something gold coloured. It's most likely brass, looks like a brass button. I think it's just a plain one. Nice though. Cool, do I have it gold? It's gotta be brass though, right? It'd be so cool if it was gold, but I doubt it very much. Right, well I've just bumped into Duncan the Mudlark on the foreshore and he's just showing me some of his amazing cannonballs that he's just had up. And sure? look at that, that's a feast for the eyes, isn't it? Hey. Blimey, all that in one spot apparently, so just goes to show you what the heck are they all doing there in one little spot. I mean, that's a beauty, that one, isn't Yeah, it? it's a big one, there. Yeah, falconet, look, and it uh, doesn't take much to clean that up. But that's awesome. Yeah, so go and check out the uh, Duncan's uh, Instagram account. It's Duncan the Mudlark. The link will be in the description below and he'll show you some of the more amazing finds that he has up. Awesome. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had this up and I've got a feeling there might be a squashed ring. Don't know. Could be. Could be. I need to unfold that gently when I get home and see if it is. Could just be a bit rubbish, but hang around and see if there's anything good. I'll show you at the end of the video. There's a pair of glasses down here. Well, that wraps up one day's mudlarking. Let's have a look and see what we got. So, start with my bits and bobs. Very happy with this Victorian Penny, 1862. Nice detail in that, look. Usually a lot more worn. This is a lovely little uh, hammered Charles II. Probably a thistle one, I can't remember. Kev, what's it called again? Turner, two pence. So Kev has uh, informed me that it's probably a Scottish Turner, a two pence copper hammered, which is awesome. Little brass button there, could be gold. Actually, do you know what, it's got a bit of weight to it. I have to test that when I get home, but again, I'm not holding any hope because a lot of the uh, finds do come out looking like that. And also, this awesome little button with a 96 below it, which could possibly be a regimental, pewter, 18th century, most likely. A few musket balls there, a little lead seal, a bit of shrapnel. Again, might make this into a key ring, so have a look on the Etsy store because I'm always putting new shrapnel key rings on there and they seem to be quite popular, so uh, I'll keep on adding those, they look really cool on your keyring and over time they'll get a little bit more worn out a little button this which I thought was a ring because it just looked like one but I don't think it is so unfortunately that might just go back but anyway, nice little collection of finds there as well as my small anchor that we uh, found as well so happy days so Nick, what you got? Right, okay, well, um, I didn't get a great deal, but I have got a very nice pair of glasses here, look. <laughs> you can put them on. So, what do you think? Do you think they go with the... Very uh, Austin Powers. Yeah. Do you think they go with the sequin? They do, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so... I think the rubber gloves finish off the look. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was the new me Where's going it? into 2020. What's happened to your finger? Well, I had to touch my phone. And oh, you can't right. do anything with it. With the Those newfangled uh, yeah, rubber so gloves with uh, touch technology. So I'm looking pretty good, I think. Don't oh, you? yeah, I think anyway, you never look better. So um, I found a grand total of um, one partial pipe here. It's nice. 1840s. That's a nice one. Little heel like that. And um, why did I you found... find Why did you only just find the one? Um, Oh, it's very sludgy today. It was, wasn't it? It's very, very sludgy, hard to spot the little blighters. <laughs> and the top of a very big onion bottle. The reason I picked oh, yeah. it up is because I like it because it's so big and chunky. That is gorgeous. And you can just kind of imagine the yeah. rest of it like that. And my friend and mudlark extraordinaire, Kevin, found a rather special pipe. And he's just given it to me for Christmas. What? 
<laughs> he's looking very worried now. Does he have you agreed to that, Kev? No, he's not sure yet. Maybe you gotta be a bit bit of a oh, bit more of a good well, girl. Well I can always pretend, can't I? But anyway, look at this pipe, isn't that gorgeous? That and lovely. that's a nice 1700s pipe. Oh, 1740, 1750. Awesome. So uh, well that's my lot. So on that. No, note, you haven't you got one more find? Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Oh, hey, let me take my glasses off. <laughs> right, um, I did find this rather beautiful rock. Very muddy rock. You that. can't see. <laughs> well, I know, it's special, isn't it? You can't see why I picked it up. Well, it, why I picked it up is because it looks kind of as if it's got little fossils in there. So I'm going to take it home, give it a little wash, mm -hmm. and see if it's a bit of cement with <laughs> shells in it, or whether it's actually a special stone full of very old fossils. You know, so Sometimes the oldest, rubbishiest, dirtiest things are actually the most beautiful. Sounds good. And it could, it could come across as ballast, couldn't it? In the ships, maybe. That's yeah, why it's it, here. it could. Or um, it might well be natural to the Thames. It could, it could. And but I can that... definitely see, yeah, there's definitely some uh, interesting crustaceans in there. Yeah, I know. So I thought it was worth a closer look. But on that note, and as this is the Christmas video and I'm all decked out in my Christmas gear, ready to sit on top of the Christmas tree, uh -huh. I hope to I hope you all have a really lovely Christmas. Happy Christmas, happy holidays, and see you again soon. Thanks for watching all of the videos of the last year and uh, have a very Merry Christmas. Yep, thank you very much for watching over the past year and I hope you all have a lovely Christmas, um, happy holidays with all your families and um, see you again next year. Bye. See you later, my lovers.